Okay. So what you're going to see here is uh, the first the script is going to launch Windows Defender, which is our virus scanning tool. So this is going to run in the background. We're going to minimize it once we kick off the virus scan. In the foreground, we're going to launch some office productivity type applications. First, we're launching Photoshop. Uh, the use model we're mimicking here is I'm going to import a, a photo off of my digital camera uh, and I want to convert it to a YouTube uploadable format. Uh, and then we're going to launch uh, Adobe Reader, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook. And uh, the times that you're going to see at the end of this run, these are not the times that the workload took for uh, full execution. It's actually all the subtimes of all the individual user actions to complete. We're measuring responsiveness of the system. We're not measuring uh, the whole thing together, muddling down the responsiveness of the system. So the point we're trying to drive home here is you actually still get a great end-user experience with a solid-state hybrid drive compared to an SSD. Obviously for your premium users who are uh, doing video editing, photo editing on a regular basis with a large data set, you still want to go with an SSD. It also will feature uh, uh, support for connected standby, which is a Microsoft uh, initiative, and uh, that's not currently available in the solid state hybrid drive uh, offering. So still compelling reasons to go with an SSD, but for you know your mom or uh, me who's on email and uh, PowerPoint all day, a SSHD is absolutely the way to go and save you some money on your next UltraBook system. And those total run times that you saw before isn't reflective of the total run time here since it's an addition of all those individual sub times. Uh, the total runtime of this entire demo is about two to three minutes instead of the 60 seconds roughly that you saw in the end again. <laughs> uh, when this will be on the market? Uh, these, uh, the RST 12.5 driver, which will feature the new SATA I.O. hinting capability will be available in our platform launch next year. Uh, and also the uh, hybrid drives uh, from the hard drive manufacturers should be available around the same time. I think that we are getting to the end of it. To the end of the demo. This is uh, wrapping up. He's closing out all the applications. You know, again, we want to ensure that the system is good, responsiveness going through all this. And you know, we're not cheating by using APIs to just in tasks and whatnot. We're measuring true what the user is going to see. So, pretty similar to last run. We got 61 seconds on the system. Again, this is our uh, SSD enabled system. And over here, we got 67, almost 68 seconds. This is our solid state hybrid drive. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Take care.